Thank you, thank you. Um, what was the most important thing you learned at BU? <laughs> so, and this is gonna sound weird, the Dean of Students, uh, who's still Dean of Students, Dean of Students now, Kenneth, Kenneth Elmore, uh, I worked at the Dean of Students office all four years in college. And I remember as I was applying to law school, um, he got an email from the Dean at New England School of Law saying, hey, Ken, I saw this amazing uh, uh, candidate for, for our law school uh, who has, has your office on his resume, but uh, didn't include you as a reference. And I remember being called into his office and having, at, being asked to have a seat, close the door and have a seat. And I thought I was in a lot of trouble. And he says to me, Ricky, I just got a call from the dean at, at the law school at New England Law that says that you applied and you didn't even ask me. And he's got this personality. This is how he talks. And I'm like, Ken, I wanted to get in on my own merits. I said, you know, I come from a poor family. I'm the first in my, in my family to ever graduate from college. I didn't want to get into law school um, because of a connection, because I, I, you know, I had help. I wanted to do it on my own. And what he said to me then resonates even now, and I tell it to interns all the time. He says, Ricky, you know how many students I've never met before come into this office asking for a reference to grad school, to medical school, to law school, to the, to, um, to the Peace Corps, what have you. And I do it, I'm the dean of students. He's like, but the one person that actually deserves it and actually has put in the work and has been there does not. Ricky, this is, you know, the, the key word in society is social. You know, we are social beings. You get by in life based off of the effort that you put in and the people that you meet and, 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 the, and the impact that you have on them. You know, if, if you don't ask for that, you know, then, then you're putting yourself in a disadvantage in a place where you should have all the advantage. Don't ever think uh, that you shouldn't, you shouldn't ask for that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have that to help move you forward. You need to make every, you need to network every opportunity you get you need to put your best foot forward and take every advantage. Uh, and I remember even reading Malcolm Gladwell. And Malcolm Gladwell, if you, if you know who he is, you know, uh, would say it wasn't the smartest person or the person with the highest IQ that succeeded in life. Uh, usually it was the person in the median who not, not just had opportunity presented to them, but had the wits to identify that opportunity and act upon that opportunity uh, to lead to success that actually succeeded. And he actually ran a lot of studies to find that. And so all of this just blew my mind. I think out of all my time in Boston and at Boston University, that was probably the thing that, that stuck, to, stuck with me the most and, and has impacted my life exponentially, right? Because people ask me all the time, Ricky, how did you get to do everything that you've done uh, so quickly? And honestly, it's being genuine and you know, talking to people and engaging with them, listening to them for real. Right. There's a reason why uh, um, uh, Laura was on and she just had to jump off and texted me afterwards saying, hey, Ricky, I'll get all the BGMC, the Boston Gay Men's Chorus members to, to help out on your race because you build a community. And, and if you build it through authenticity and you actually care about people, people care about you in return. And, and that goes a long way. And so I think that's the biggest thing I learned at BU.